Welcome to this Windows and Computers channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, June 19th, 2018, and today in our Tech News Update, we have Google that is reportedly investing $550 million in the Chinese retailer JD.com. The effort behind this is to try to get more of the Asian market, even though we're not sure how it's going to be done. It seems that Google thinks that this is one of the ways that maybe it can reach more of that big market. Got a Google Home and a Chromecast? Well, there's a bug, and basically it has been discovered that mm, pretty much any website can actually find your precise location by looking at the next works around you. Technically, when you use these devices, it should you know, kind of pinpoint what city you live in, but not necessarily the exact location you are. Google says a fix is on the way and will be available by next month. If you use NDOS, which is a popular Android emulator for PC, there's a report that it might be injecting malware into the host PC that does crypto mining. Now, officially, the report has been denied. They say, no, that's not happening. But there's quite a lot of information that seems to point otherwise. So uh, this is kind of an interesting aspect of uh, what's happening here. So is it safe or unsafe to use NDOS? Question is still not answered. You will now be able to use Android messages from your web browser to actually access your phone from anywhere and send and receive text messages. Now, I have to try that today. So, of course, uh, I'll try to post a little demonstration video of what is uh, possible with this and how it works. The World, World Health Organization has finally added gaming disorder as a mental illness. Apparently, it uh, might need to be treated. So, you know, we know how pretty much everybody that has a lot of friends probably knows somebody that's like really darn addicted to gaming uh, but where is that gaming problem a mental illness or not that is very very interesting because if I look at myself you know now today I don't really game that much but I used to game a lot where do you put the line? I mean, of course, if it affects your life, but uh, interesting. Um, I don't know what to think about this one. BitTorrent seems to have been sold. A blockchain startup called Tron has apparently paid $100 million for this. The goal is that this company is trying to create a decentralized internet. It's unsure what exactly the future of the platform will be, but apparently it's trying to push the platform into some form of crypto mining. Facebook Messenger, you know, if you're on Facebook and especially on the, you know, well, even on the PC side, but if you're on your smartphone, you probably regularly are annoyed at those autoplaying videos with ads in them and, and of course, whatever. Um, well, you're going to be even more annoyed. Facebook Messenger is now going to have auto-playing ads. So uh, let's get even more annoyed together. Scared of ransomware? Well, a uh, study says don't want to pay the bad guys. You're scared of ransomware. What if something happens? Well, there's no secret to actually having it safe. And the secret is you got to back up and back up everything regularly. If you do so, you'll never have to pay the bad guys and you'll always be okay even though ransomware has arrived. So uh, don't forget that a backup is essential and especially if your computer is vital to your work and your life. Want to transform your PC into an Android machine? Uh, one interesting aspect that I will be looking at also because I am totally intrigued by this is there's a thing called the Android x86 project and this is an interesting project because not only does it not emulate through Windows for example you can actually have a standalone booting machine that is Android 
And the latest version adds Oreo 8.1. So uh, this is kind of interesting. And I will be uh, dedicating one of my machines to this and see if it works. If it does, it could be a very interesting project. And of course, I will be posting a video. This probably will be videos on my Easy Computer Fixes channel so that uh, they don't you know, necessarily interfere with the Windows stuff here. NVIDIA has done a really cool demonstration of how it created a neural network that is capable of slow motion effects on any video. And the results are actually very impressive. You have the impression that you probably, that you probably would uh, have done a real uh, slow motion capture. Uh, really, really cool effects here. And shows how the um, artificial intelligence using NVIDIA's, um, you know, IN graphics adapters is just truly amazing. And this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, June 19th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.